Um, I, uh, <laughs> have you been there when you've been freaking out because you're like, uh, oh no, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, what I meant to say was, uh, or when it's like, um, well, and then I, um, and then I, um, and then I, um, and then I, what, and then I, so, and then I, what, and then I, so, and then I, um, I totally know how it feels and I'm going to help you today. And I have these seriously awesome ways that we're going to do this today. I have some really new ones that I'm going to be bringing to the table, some really fun games that we're going to play. And I am doing something actually crazy right now. I'm actually live broadcasting in three places at the same time. So if you are someone who is thinking about using video for your marketing, thinking about using live video for your marketing, or you're already using Facebook Live, boom shakalaka, we are glad that you're here. Hello. And I'm going to be giving you five new fun ways to eliminate the word um. Dun, dun, dun. So we're going to dive into this today. If you want to have these five ways written down, guess what? You have to get yourself to be live TV because I am broadcasting on my phone right now in my hand. I'm broadcasting over at, we're going to turn my phone off now. So leave here on my personal page and go to be live TV. I love you. Don Marie, Tam, Tam, I'm coming to Vegas. Go to my page. I'll tell you there. Okay, bye. <laughs> so we're broadcasting here at Be Life TV. We're also doing something super cool today where we are broadcasting live in two separate places at once. So not only are we live at Be Live TV, or you may be watching the replay, right? We're also live and there is a replay streaming at my business page, The Prepared Performer, which is Molly Mahoney, The Prepared Performer. My name is Molly Mahoney. I am the camera confidence coach here at Be Live TV. And if you're watching this over at The Prepared Performer, I can't see your comments because it's live streaming in two separate places. And it's pretty cool because you can actually do this with Be Live right now on Facebook. You can set it up ahead of time so that it automatically live broadcasts in more than one place, which is so cool. So if you're over there, come over here so I can see your comments. If you want to stay over there, you can have your own conversation and talk about us and we won't see you. Okay. Yes. Cross posting. I know it's so cool. All right. So if you comment below with the word show notes, whether you are here at Be Live TV or you are over at my page, The Prepared Performer, um, you should be getting a message back from our bot that asks you to reply with the word. Are you ready for it? Um, <laughs> right. And when you reply with the word, um, you're going to get access to the show notes right away, which is really cool. I've already published them straight on our blog and I'll be uh, diving in and filling them in a little bit more, giving you some more links and access to goodness, but it's super cool. So go ahead and comment below with the word show notes right now so that you can have the notes for this show later. Yeah, you're here, Glenn. Hello, welcome. There's no late. There is only here. <laughs> cool. So this is a question that I get so often, and it's something that I know stops people from going live because they're afraid of how they'll sound on camera. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. So as a performance coach for over 20 years, as a professional performer for about 20 years as well, holy smokes, I'm so stoked to be able to dive in to this with you today. One more time for those of you that I don't know, my name is Molly Mahoney. You are officially here at the Be Live TV page for an episode of Camera Confidence Live. So what you're going to get when you comment below with show notes is a link that will take you straight to a blog post that has all of the show notes written out on it. And you'll also get access to a free trial of Be Live. So if you don't know what Be Live is, I'm actually going to share my desktop so that you can see how we are making all of this magic happen. If you are a fan of Be Live, give me a love it in the comments down below. Just say love it so that everyone can know who the Be Livers are here. And if you've never used Be Live before, come below with the word new, and I'm going to do my best to make sure that somebody comes back and connects with you. So, also, when you comment below with the word show notes, Okay, see, wait, Sharon, I want to highlight this. Oh, where did it go? Uh, so Sharon says, um, is not a problem for me, but so is a killer. 
Yes, we're actually going to talk about that today too. Um, and Desiree, make sure that you reply to the message with the word um. Don't write um here, reply to the message. Yay, Sherelle. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we have newbies here today. I love it. So good. Okay, so watch this. I can change the layout of our video. Yes, so fun. Oh, look at how my picture is in front of the frame. Oh, that's cool, Be Live. Check it out. That's the frame, which is not covering up my face. How cool is that? Okay, um, so you can see here, this is the backside of Be Live. So you can see where I can move these things around if I want to. I can make a split the screen. I can do this. I can even hide the frame and bring. Do, 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 do this up, which is so cool. We can bring on guests by sharing this link down here. I love Be Live. And with this cross posting thing, so right now we're actually broadcasting live here at Be Live and over on my personal business page, which is Molly Mahoney, the prepared performer. We're broadcasting live in both places, which is so cool. Um, but one reason that I've been kind of hesitant to do that is because it splits the comments. So if you are over there commenting, I can't see your comments. If you're watching in the replay, that's okay. You can watch both places. Um, but one of the things that's so cool is when you use Be Live, you can pre-schedule your video, and then that way you can set up without needing an extra tool like Live Leap or something like that. You can set up this super cool. Look at how little I am. You can set up this super cool um, cross posting, which is really fun, and we can be broadcasting in more than one place. Oh my gosh! So this is the thing that's tricky to me is when it says how many live viewers there are. I don't know if that's like the combined live viewers or whatever. Brooke, um, Aaron, Vaughn, Cambria, Crystal, I see you. I guess I can just check the comments on my phone. I'm going to be able to handle both. I love it. Okay, so we are going to dive into this. I have five strategies that are going to help you. The last three are brand new, super fun games that I am really stoked to give you. The first two are things that you may have heard me talk about before. If you are brand new to this community, um, uh, I want you to comment below with the words new star. We call ourselves the mall stars here as a part of this community. And give me the words new star in the comments down below. This is a star. So that I make sure that I can get to know you because I love the fact that we get to connect here with, as real human beings using Facebook Live. It's so cool. Okay, also, I want to make sure <laughs> when you are doing your own videos, I know that there's some like freak out that happens sometimes, right? So I know that sometimes you're like, oh, and that's the nerve set in. And then that's where we say, um, or we say so, or we say, yeah, and yeah, I don't know. There's other weird things that we all, you know, our own funny things that we say. That's not the only way that this um business affects us. It also affects us when we are watching videos. So have you ever watched a video and been like, oh my gosh, this content is so good, but the ums are driving me bonkers. Give me a bin there down below. And then I want you to do something, which is really cool. Brooke, you're a new star. I'm so glad that you're here. Hooray. Okay, this is what I want you to do. Give me a bin there below if you have watched a video and been like, I wish this like the content is so good, but I just can't handle the ums. If that's ever happened to you, I understand. And we're going to work on that today too. There are two ways that we're going to work on that. One is boom by sharing this video <laughs> because this way, the more that we share these strategies with others, not only will we improve our video experience as the broadcaster, you will also improve your viewing experience because we'll be helping others to elevate their performance skills in their Facebook lives as well. Boom. And here's the other thing we're going to do. We're going to <laughs> love on ourselves and release the judgment of others. Because when we are um, judging, um, see, now I'm going to like notice it every time I say it. When we are judging ourselves and then we watch other people, oftentimes it's a reflection of the judgment that we're putting back onto ourselves. Right? So let's go ahead and share this puppy. Once you have shared it, comment below with the words shared and I will give a shout out for the shares because I love that we can take this and put it out into the world and really help to elevate the content of all of our friends 
family, colleagues, whatever, all the goodness that we're sharing out into Facebook, into YouTube. These tips that we're going to do today are not just Facebook based. They really are powerful for all videos and for in-person conversations as well. So by doing these strategies, by using these techniques, I can't tell you how it has improved my ability to speak at events on the stage and when I'm speaking to human beings in real life. Also for interviews, like podcasts and things like that, by putting these strategies into action and really implementing them and doing them over and over again, it has totally changed my ability to communicate what we have to offer here at Be Live, what we have to offer in my business as a prepared performer. Totally crazy awesome. Okay, and before I give you this first tip, Ava shared, thank you so much. And we don't have to share or tag the actual people that we know need this help, but you know, we can just like let the, let it fall into their laps. It'll be perfect. Okay, and when you come up below with the words show notes, as I said, you're going to get access to written notes about today's information with all the points that I'm going to give you for today. You'll also get an opportunity to get an access to get an access to get access to a free trial of Be Live TV. So those of you who are new, you want to make sure you comment below with show notes so that you can get that free trial of Be Live TV. It's a two week free trial. And you're also going to get access to my upcoming live video masterclass. Bye. Make sure you check that out because we have one coming up real quick and it's only going to be available for 24 hours. And this masterclass, we cover a little bit about the performance, the speaking skills on camera, but it's really more about creating juicy content that creates conversions. So what it is, it's about attracting a flood of leads who are ready to throw a credit card at your face. Pretty dang good. Sharon, thank you for sharing. Tina, thank you for sharing. Ava, you already said it. Hooray, I love it. All right, and one last question before I bring up this first point is, do we have any Cam Fam members in the house? If you are a member of the Cam Fam, which is our camera confidence course, I would love to know that you're here. So Cam Fam, give me a Cam Fam down below. Okay, so we are going to jump in. Learn how to eliminate the ums as you speak <laughs> so that you can unlock your inner awesome and elevate it with the magic of Facebook Live and attract, as I said before, a flood of leads. Yes. Patty, Brad, I love you. I'm so glad that you're here. Hooray. Okay. So tip number one, if you're ready for tip number one, give me a number one in the comments down below. This is a big one. It's something that you probably if you, are, if you are new to this community, you may never have heard of this before. But if you have been around, I'm assuming that this is something that you should be familiar with. It's gonna seem a little crazy. It is called the, what, what did I do? <laughs> the comment, <laughs> the quesadilla. Okay, so first <laughs> we're going to, as I mentioned early, earlier, we're not only going to release the judgment of others, we're going to release the judgment of ourselves. So first, we have to start by getting over it. Somebody's at my front door right now. What is happening? Veronica! <laughs> There's somebody at my front door and I don't know who it is. Crazy. Okay. So <laughs> it's really kooky. You're going to release the judgment of yourselves, release the need to be perfect. So we have uh, clients that I have seen do their videos and they say, um, and guess what? It's okay. The only way that you're going to get better at this is by putting yourself out there, taking these strategies that I'm going to give you today, but you have to actually put it into action and practicing on your own is not the same as actually doing it live. There is a completely different thing that happens in our bodies right? There's something that happens inside like the chemical makeup of our actual beings that changes the way things that changes the way that things work. When you practice by yourself, you may not say um at all. When you come on camera with other people, all of a sudden it's like um, 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 every other word. Have you experienced that before? It's a completely different thing. So, and it's an energetic shift that we want to be able to use. But if we don't use these strategies, that energetic shift will take over, right? So this is where we come to the quesadilla. The quesadilla is called the quesadilla of awesome. It is. You want to take the things that you have in your life as a human being. What makes you a uniquely awesome human? 
you wanna focus on those and write them down. We have a full exercise where you make a list of 20 things that make you an awesome human being. We have loads of uh, videos about this and I'll actually link to a video about it in the show notes. But I just wanted to tap on it again, that if you are saying um a lot and then you start, or <coughs> oh my gosh, saying um a lot or hello, what is happening? Sorry, if you're saying um a lot or so a lot or uh or whatever those, you know what, give me your filler words down below. What are the other, what are the filler words that you use? Give me those down below. So if you are in a place where you start feeling those filler words come up, what happens is we often judge ourselves and then it gets worse because then our our inner gremlins come up and they're like, why are you saying um? And then it makes the anxiety go up higher and then you start saying um even more, right? So if you can instead really get clear about what makes you a uniquely awesome human, that will start to shift things, yes? Okay, so we're gonna get clear about that. Are we all in agreement that we're going to get clear about our quesadilla of awesome? Give me a heck yes in the comments down below if you are gonna be clear about your quesadilla of awesome. Okay, after that, this is a big one. When you are speaking on camera or in person, it's actually an instrument that you're using. Let's remove the quesadilla, okay? It's actually an instrument that you're using. Your voice, your tongue, your body, your breath, it's all a part of this amazing instrument, right? It's the way that you are communicating. And just because you have been speaking since you were a little kid, doesn't mean that you don't need to treat this as a tool because it is a tool. So you want to warm up, warm up your body and your voice. Now, when you comment below with the word show notes, I actually have a link to an audio warm up. It's an audio download where I walk you through the, the warm up that we have in my camera confidence program. So I have this seven minute download as a smaller little nugget that you can get if you go to my website. And it's a seven minute download that you can listen to every single day that will take you through inside camera confidence. I go through this whole entire process, but it's called the B Fab warm up. And I'm just going to walk you through the main points of this warm up. So here's what they are it is. The B <laughs> is for your breath. You're going to start by really tapping into this amazing gift that we have of oxygen. A pause can actually be more effective than an um. So when you feel that desire to fill that space with the um or the so or the what, <laughs> whatever it is, know that sometimes it's really, really good to just take a pause and breathe. Okay, so the first step in this is your breath. The next thing is your face. So not everybody can handle all the crazy faces that I make, right? But for you, you want to be able to use your face as a way to communicate. And if, you're, if your face is not warmed up and the nerves clench up and then you're going to get tongue tied, there's like all sorts of things that are going to happen. So in this BFAB warm up, we warm up our face by doing all these crazy face stretches. And the next thing is your articulators. So your tongue is this giant muscle. And I notice that when I don't warm up, that I'm much more likely to trip on my words and actually start using um and other things like that to fill in because my nerves go up, right? So you wanna warm up your articulators. And then the final thing of this, the BFAB warm up, is your body and your voice. So even though for most of us, we're using, whether you're standing or sitting, it's really mostly our face that's on the camera, right? And you wanna make sure that you recognize that your body is connected to your face. Hello, right? So we wanna make sure we have connected to who we are as a human being and we've set some sort of time aside to warm up so that we're ready to come on camera. We're ready to make this happen, yeah? Okay, so give me a B fab in the comments down below if this is resonating with you. If you are open to taking some time to actually warm up before you come on camera. Yeah, put that down below, be fab. Again, reminder, if you're watching this over on the Prepared Performer page on my personal business page, we're actually over at Be Live. So I cannot see your comments if you're watching this over at the Prepared Performer. Come to the Be Live page, close that video, come over to Be Live. Okay, 
And now this is where we're going to get into some kind of crazy things. And I am really excited to see your answers for this. This has been a game changer. Seriously, like, major, major, especially during interviews. So this next one, I love the BFAMs. Yes. Okay. This next one, this next one, I want you to come over to be live and I'm going to show you this next one, which is, I want you to go through your own vernacular. So I want you to create your own dictionary of catchphrases. I'm writing this here. Okay, so you're gonna create your own fun, maybe powerful, maybe they don't need to be like goofy like mine are, right? But that you wanna create sayings that you say repeatedly on your videos that you know you can go back to. Because when you have these little sound bites, these little catchphrases, it allows you to keep the conversation going because you're not searching for the words. So somebody had asked recently about how to um, do a, okay, notice, I just wanna point out, I just said um there and it's totally okay. <laughs> so when you take moments to actually think, you know, someone had said something like this to me and I'm not, what was it? Oh yeah, it's okay because it allows your audience to think as well, especially if you are crazy like me and you speak super, super fast. Brooke, you made it, hooray! <laughs> Yahoo! So taking a moment to think is okay, right? And then if you can't really pull that thought out of the world, you know you can come back to these catchphrases to keep things moving forward. Making sense? Give me a make sense. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to comment down below with the transformation that you provide for your audience. Yeah, so what do you do for them? So we, and this is something that inside our camera confidence, we have this thing called a snap statement that we really dive into. And that's part of the reason that we create that snap statement is so that you can come back to it on your videos. There's all sorts of other little statements that you can create. Um, and, and they allow you to really powerfully speak because you've practice them. So you don't need to script out your whole entire show, but to script out little bits and pieces so that you can know that those words are like, they just roll off your tongue and you can effectively communicate them. It's going to help to eliminate the goo, 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 goo in between. Okay. So Sharon says, I help folks kill chronic pain and take back their life. Awesome. So if you could get really good, and maybe you already are, Sharon, at saying, we are here so that you can kill chronic pain and take back your life, right? So we're gonna give you these strategies so that you can kill chronic pain and take back your life, living a life that you love. So, and then adding something else that's a little more flowery or kind of descriptive onto it can be really fun. So for us, I help you to gain credibility, visibility, and be known as the authority in your space. Now, that's not the full, that's like part of the transformation we provide. But when you really think about it, the full juicy goodness that you want, uh, that the client, that our clients want from us is to be able to make sales, right? So to gain more credibility, visibility, and be known as the authority in your space so that you can, and this is what I say, attract a flood of leads right? That makes it very unique and specific. A flood of leads who are ready to throw a credit card at your face, <laughs> right? And then I keep putting that back into my videos over and over again. I re-bring those, those little bits of that phrase into our videos over and over again. So when you can pull out those little phrases, you can sprinkle them through your videos to really suss it out when you start to get tongue-tied or lose your direction, right? <clears throat> yes, oh, I like this, Brooke. I help speech language pathologists to be equipped and encouraged. So another thing that goes with this catchphrase thing is to, to actually have specific words. So to say equipped and encouraged, and then maybe, Brooke, you play off of some sort of alliteration with those um, E's, right? <clears throat> Man, I got attacked by a cough. Okay, so if you play along those at alliteration, alliteration is an awesome trick for this also because when you start to forget what's next, the alliteration helps you to do that. So when I speak from the stage, I have five points that I cover and they all start with the same letter. 
And so it helps me when I'm starting to feel a little bit lost, I can pull back to those five specific points that all start with the same letter. Okay, are you ready? Because this one's a little kooky. <laughs> This is a really fun game that I'm gonna give you. And I've never, I don't think I've shared this game before. I'm gonna add it right here. It's called Elephant Fitzgerald. <laughs> and we're gonna try and play it. Usually you wanna play this with another human face to face, but I thought it would be really fun for us to play it as a game here on our video. Okay, so here's how it goes. First, I'm gonna give a shout out to Dale, cause I love it. Dale, I'm so glad you're here. Dale is doing, where's my other water bottle? Dale's doing a really awesome water challenge right now to drink more water. I have two water bottles in here, Dale, just for you. Okay, Elephant Fitzgerald. Now this is a game that we invented backstage at a theater in Wisconsin called the Fireside Theater. There's gonna be two levels of these games that I'm gonna give you. This is the first one, and this is the one that I have played most with when I go and do like an improv training for a uh, office staff, or when I go into uh, a group of kids where I'm gonna be doing some sort of course, a, a, a live in-person training where I help them to feel more elevated. Uh, we're gonna do this, are you ready? <laughs> Brad just says, you don't like jazz, do ya? <laughs> okay, so. It's a really funny reason that this title, Elephant Fitzgerald, came out. So here's how the game goes. And if you're gonna play it in person, which I highly suggest you do, it works best if you sit in two chairs facing each other. And this game, if you like games, give me a games in the comments below. So this game, I think it's so much easier when you're tackling things that are difficult when you make them fun, right? Ah, which is why I so firmly believe in my favorite hashtag, which is, uh, I'm writing it out right here. I love be live. My favorite hashtag, which is stand for joy. So this game is actually going to help you to eliminate this thing that causes like anxiety and stress. Okay, it's called Elephant Fitzgerald. Are you ready? And if you're watching this on Molly Mahoney, the prepared performers page, come over to be live because that's really where I can see your comments. Okay, um, Sharon, yes. How do you know the Fireside in Fort Atkinson? This was developed at the Fireside Theater in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. Have you been there before? If you have, that is so cool. Um, I did seven shows at the Fireside Dinner Theater. I met my husband there. He was a bass player in a show called Hollywood Sings when I met him. And we developed this game backstage at the Fireside. One other little quick story about this. There were these poles in the green room. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Sharon, what shows have you seen there? Maybe you've seen me in a show. Oh, the Fireside is amazing. I owe so much of my life to that place. So there are these poles in the green room. They're they're like, um, what do they call that? Uh, support poles? I don't know, they have a name. But And there were always these two chairs that were back to back on this pole. And we would sit backwards on the chairs. So with the back of the chair in between us, and we'd play this game by rocking, well, rocking back and forth like this, right? And here's what it is. You say a word. So one person starts and they're like, elephant. And then when it comes to the other side, the other person says, Fitzgerald. <laughs> Right? Pillar. Yeah, it could have been called a pillar. There's another, it's like a support beam. I guess that's on the roof. I don't know. Okay, so we say elephant. Then you say, the other person says the first word that comes to their mind. So elephant, then someone said Fitzgerald one time, which is pretty funny. So Ella Fitzgerald, but someone said elephant Fitzgerald. So Fitzgerald. And then when you come back to this side, you say that word together. Elephant Fitzgerald and you're making eye contact the whole time, you're really having no judgment because that, I swear to you, is one of the biggest reasons that the ums come into play, is that we start judging ourselves, we get scared, our fear takes over, and then we, uh, 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 we're like unfocused, and that's where the ums come into play. So this game goes like this, elephant, they say Fitzgerald. Then we say together, Elephant Fitzgerald. Then we come back to the other side and the other person says the word first. So then Tina says, show notes. And I say, are ready. We come back over here, show notes are ready. Okay, so here, does that make sense? Do you understand how to play the game? Do you think you could play it with your kids, your husband, your girlfriend? What, you know, somebody, I, I don't know why. 
<laughs> I just realized there's some people who are usually here on these Wednesday videos that I have not seen today. Um, who? So if you think that you could play this with someone, come up below and say, I'm going to play. And then we're going to try and do this weird thing and play it here live. If this doesn't work, I have another version of how I want to do this, which is, <laughs> uh, I'll explain afterwards. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Oh my gosh, Tina. Tina says a speaker at a conference last month said um 117 times and I wanted to stab myself in the eardrum. Tim, did you hear, I mean, Tim, Tina, did you hear the very first piece of this, which was we have to release our judgment of others so that we can release our judgment of ourselves. And I know, and that was why I said, share this video because it can get cuckoo, right? Okay, so what your life so here's how it's gonna go i'm gonna give you a word just a random word and then you are going to word association just type the first word that comes into your mind okay there's going to be a higher level of this game that's going to work also and what this does is it allows our brains to think more quickly it allows us i'm gonna get a little more in depth into how this works but I, yeah, Tina, that's what I was just saying. She said she had great info, but the um totally negated everything. Gah! Okay, Brooke, come back. We'll be here in the replay. Ooh, Jerome, you know what? I, okay, Jerome says we did not send out a bot announcement. I sent out one, but only from my personal page. I didn't send out the Live one. So let's actually, do you guys want to watch me send out an announcement on uh, how to do it? I can teach you. Okay. Let's see if you want me to send out a bot announcement and show you how I do it so that you can see how to build a bot announcement, right? Send it down below. If you want me to just skip it and send it later, I'll do that. This is up to you because you're here live. Okay. Um, I didn't, yeah. Sometimes I don't send them from both accounts. So that's a good point. Okay. So this, let's play one, one little round of this. And then if enough people say send it, I'll go in and send it and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so here is the first word that I'm gonna give you. I want you to brain game with me and give me the first word that comes to your mouth, mine. Okay, ready? Eyelashes. We're all getting send it. <laughs> There's so much of a delay on here that it's going to be a little goofy. Okay, we're going to send it. I'm going to pull you back behind the scenes at Be Live, and then what I think we should actually do is I am going to bring some of you. False, Sharon, it's working. Awesome. <laughs> this is not very good for like a speedy brain game. So what I want to do after I send this announcement, which I'm going to show you how we're going to do it, I'm actually going to invite some of you on to the camera with me to be able to play this game in person, so you can see how it works. <laughs> Nancy says, what, toes? Perfect. That's what I mean. All kinds of things can come out of it. Mascara, long, tours. Oh. <laughs> Mascara or lashes, toes, eyelashes, toes, dust. Okay, perfect. We're going to jump in and I'm going to send this broadcast. Oh, I accidentally just shared two screens. Okay, I'm going to show you how we do this. And I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to bring one of you on. So before I take you into be live, I am going to share and this if you are watching this over at the prepared performer, you're not going to be able to get this link because I'm sharing this link only over at be live. I'm going to share this link at be live right now. And then I'm going to um, take you behind the scenes and show you how to do this. Okay, so with this link, here's what you're gonna be able to do. You will be able to come on to video with me live. We're gonna play this game and one more game after this, which actually is a little harder than Elephant Fitzgerald. And when we play this game, we're gonna do this word association thing back and forth, and it's going to help both of us to start to eliminate the ums. The cool thing is, even if you aren't able to join us on camera to be here and actually do it here, you can do it in your own head because we'll be going quickly back and forth and you'll be able to kind of speed up those connections so that you can keep talking, <laughs> right? Okay, here, paste, ready? That's the show. I just posted the link over at Be Live TV. I'm also going to edit this post so that um, I'm gonna put a clickable link into the description of this video. Let's see if I can do it. I can, hooray. Okay, um, join me. I wrote Joni me. Okay, join me. I'm putting the link up here in the description of this video as well so that you can click on it. Save. 
Okay, now, oh, we're just gonna leave that there. And now I'm gonna bring you over to be live, hooray! And we are gonna send out a broadcast. All right, so I'm gonna screen share like this, ta-da. Gonna move this, hooray! All right, yeah, and if you comment below with the word show notes, you're gonna get notes for all of this. Okay, so we are going to, we're in many chat, which is the tool that I use. Hopefully you can see this. Just checking to make sure it's working. Um, screen sharing working? Yeah, it is. Okay. It should be working. The delay is so big here, right? Okay. So you are in the back side of many chat. And I'm going to click new broadcast. And then watch this. I'm going to say, hey, hey, you are late. <laughs> we will always write this in the third person. So Molly has started today's episode of Camera Confidence Live. We are tackling the dreaded um. Want to join us? And then another thing that we do is we send very segmented um, emails here or messages here because we have so many different hosts. So I'm going to give them an option to say no Molly. And let me show you what I do here. I add a tag, which is add tag. No Molly. And there's like no judgment if people don't want my stuff and they want to just get things from the other hosts. That's totally good. So then I can send them a message right here. Hopefully this is helpful for you that says uh, you got it we will no longer send you updates from Molly. Hi. Right, but now they're not unsubscribing. They're still able to get updates from the other hosts. Okay, and now we're going to send a message here. And what I'm gonna do with this message, I'm sending another brand new message here. I'm gonna send a message that has the link to this video over at Be Live TV. And if you don't know how to get that link, the way that you get it is, this is something that really everybody who's using Facebook videos should know, but if you don't know it, there's a message ah, that has the link. Sorry, you're gonna click on this little thing that says 36 minutes ago, that is the button you would click, in, or the it's actually a link you would click to be able to pull up the link for the actual video. Okay, so now this is something that's a little tricky to what we teach when we build bots, and by the way, if you have a bot, comment below and say, got bot in the comments. If you don't have a bot and you would like one and you're interested in seeing if maybe we could build one for you, go ahead and comment below with the words bot support. And we have a new team member who is actually responsible for responding to you when you say bot support. So even if you've said bot support before, if we didn't reach out to you, we are now totally on top of it. And I would love to give you some more information about that. Okay, so this is a little ninja trick that we use when we build bots, which is we, Facebook Messenger is kind of weird. So when people click on a link to get to a video, sometimes it stops it inside Messenger and you can't actually click the link to get out. What we have to get to actual Facebook, it's like this weird, stuck thing. So what we have actually realized, even though all phones are different, when you put the link to the Facebook Live in an actual text bubble instead of in a button, there are more chances that people will be able to bring up the actual video. If you don't know what I mean, don't worry about it. Just know this is a technique that we're using. We've noticed through testing when we put it in the button that we can't, um, it's more likely that people will have an issue getting to the actual link. So the problem is you can't track the clicks on that, which is why we track the clicks here. So, okay, um, Yahoo, she's live right now. This will take you to the live video and the replay. We say that because a lot of people have asked us, will there be a replay? Not everybody knows that this link will instantly become the replay as well. Okay, so now we got, oh, that looks like the wrong link. Doesn't that seem weird? Usually, uh, I'm gonna check that. Cause usually it will say be live TV, not that all those numbers. <clears throat> Do you see that? Right here where, whoops, right here where it says facebook.com slash all those numbers. Usually it says facebook.com slash be live TV app. So let me just make sure I grab the right link. This is what I was talking about before when you click on 39 minutes, boom. Yeah, that looks very different. So we're gonna use that. Good catch Mahoney. Um, 
I had grabbed the link before when I was in the middle of editing it. So I think that's probably why. Okay. So this is, hey, hey, you're late. Molly has started camera confidence, blah, 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 blah. Tackling the dreaded, um, let's do this so that you can speak with confidence on video. Let's do camera. Okay. Hooray. Um, yes. No, we can add little emojis. Little trick if you're using Be Live and you don't have, I'm not Be Live, if you're using ManyChat and you can't get the little emoji button to pop up, just click here a couple of times and then it will work. Right there. Okay. Um, now, on this next step, like I said, we've really segmented this. So we're going to use the tag is Molly. And there's a tag specifically for me here over at Be Live TV. Okay, are you ready? Oh, and then we're gonna do tag isn't no Molly in case people have been tagged with my name, but then they decided they don't want stuff from me anymore. And this helps you to keep things really segmented. See, we lost about 300 people. Whatever, which is totally good because I don't wanna send messages to people who don't actually want them from us. And then we hit send now, ta-da! Ding, ding, ding. Okay, now this will be fun to see what happens with our viewers from doing that. I like it. Okay, so let's get back to the um. Did we have, um, um, no one has clicked on that link to join me on camera. Does anyone wanna join me? I wanna play with you. Who wants to join me? Okay, let's see. I posted this link down below. You just copy it and get in here. I thought it would also be fun if we did a little performance coaching with your intro for your video. So this is something that I usually only do inside our high level coaching program called Go Live and Monetize. We have a monthly coaching program with loads of seriously killer business owners who are using video in their lives and we get on camera and I actually coach you through the way that you're presenting things on camera. But if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to, but if you want to click on that button and that, um, if someone wants to join, <laughs> yes, yeah, I think you meant got bought. Hooray. Awesome. Okay. Yes, we have Sharon. So Sharon is here. Sharon, are you ready to come on? Nod. Yes. If you're good to come on, Sharon, give me a thumbs up. If you're good to come on. Perfect. Is your volume down on your, um, Facebook page? Make sure that you're going to be listening to me only here on Be Live and, and close out your Facebook page so you're not listening there. Okay. Sharon, I'm so excited to talk to you. Okay, are you ready? She's ready, I think. We're going to bring her on. So, oh, actually, why don't I show you what this looks like? So, on the back side of Be Live, do you see this? So, now this is where the lobby is. And so, I can actually, isn't that cool that I could just send out that link? And then Sharon's here. So, Sharon, we can actually see you right now just because we're looking at the screen share. <laughs> I'm going to hit send to broadcast and watch what's going to happen. It gives her three, two, one, and then bloop, now she's up here. So all three of us can be on together. Hooray. Hi. Hi. Oh, shoot. Sharon, I did not have my video off. Okay. Are you there? I am. I am. Hooray. So cool. Okay. So Sharon, we're going to play a little Elephant Fitzgerald, and then I'm going to teach you the next little game. And... I would love it if you, before we actually do that, if you would share a little more with our audience about what you're offering. I offer a customized chronic pain killing program for people that have chronic pain. It helps them kill chronic pain and take back their life. So I good. I have an introduction for my videos, so that would be kind of helpful. Ooh, yeah, I love it. Okay, so let's do this elephant material thing just so everyone can see how it goes. And then I would love to, to kind of go through your, um, through your, introduction. That'd be super cool. Okay. Ready. And this is something that we'll do every once in a while. For those of you that weren't able to jump on, Jerome says that he's camping in the wild with limited single next time you're going to have to come on. Okay. So we're going to actually go back and forth. This is kind of goofy, right? So we're going to, the reason that we go back and forth like this is because I don't know if it'll work with our, it might be kind of weird. It's let's just, I'm going to, I think we might make each other sick, So let's not do it on the video, <laughs> but we're going to, um, you want to try and keep a metronome, which is a little goofy when we're doing this on video because there's delay, the delay back and forth. So let's just go as fast as we can. I'm going to start. I'll say a word, you say a word, and then we'll try and say it together, see if it works. Then you're going to say a word, I'm going to say a word, and then we're going to try and say it together to see if it works. Okay. Cool. And then after we do this a couple times, we'll, um, uh, we'll go into doing a little coaching on your intro, and then I'll share the last game that you guys can play. It's kind of fun too. Okay, so ready, here we go, and video. 
scared. <laughs> Videos, and we say together, video, video scared. <laughs> now your turn. Happy. Joy. Happy, Happy joy. joy. <laughs> Necklace. Blue. Necklace blue. <laughs> Not to say it. Okay, so awesome. And I, this is um, this is uh, a little funny with the delay. So actually, I want to skip right into the next one because the next one is easier for us to go back and forth. So what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to add a word on at the end, and we're going to keep adding a word on, but we have to repeat what we've already said. So it's really good for memory, and it's good for being able to continue our words going forward. I actually learned this from a friend because we were talking about Hamilton the musical and how she has a friend who is um, part of a group that does like on the spot rapping with kids. And so this is an exercise that they use so they can get really, really good at freestyle dropping words, right? And when you have music like that behind you, you cannot get off because you will be in trouble. So we're just gonna go back and forth. Hello, Lauren Fast. If you're watching this at The Prepared Performer, come over to be live because that's really where we are. Okay, we're gonna go back and forth and just see how far we can go. And after, so I'm gonna say a word, like I'll say necklace, and then you would say necklace, um, blue, sky, then you're gonna add, we're gonna add onto it each time. As, as we go through it, I'll kind of explain. So I'm gonna start with eyes. Blue, oh, blue's my thing. Good, and then I'm gonna say eyes, blue, green. Eyes, blue, green, and then do I add a word? And then you add a word, yeah. Eyes, blue, green, brown. <laughs> Eyes, blue, green, brown, make. Eyes, blue, green, brown, make the. <laughs> Eyes, blue, green, brown, make the world. Eyes, blue, green, brown, make the world a. Uh. Eyes blue, green, brown, make the world a uh, better. <laughs> Eyes blue, green, brown, make the world a better place. So, okay, so see how this is like something where we instantly, and you can play it with kids, you can play it with adults, it can be a road trip game, but it really allows your brain to keep moving forward with no judgment and hopefully start to make more and more sense the more that you do it. Cool. Does that make sense? Yep, totally. Yeah, cool, I love it. Lauren, you made it, hooray. Okay, so let's workshop your intro for your videos. I love that. So tell me, go ahead and jump in and share your intro and then I'll give you some pointers on it. Okay, I have no intro. I oh. actually just say like, hey, 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 or good morning or something. I have nothing, not even kidding. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we actually, in my camera confidence course, we have a full template that we teach about how to structure your intro. And I'm not gonna go into the whole entire thing, but it's actually different every single time. And there's a there's a, a, a system for it. So what I'm gonna do with you today is instead of really diving into the very first thing that you say, let's go into the, this is the fourth thing that I suggest that you say, which is where you introduce yourself. You may notice when you've watched our videos, we don't actually get to the place where I introduce myself until about a minute into the video. I admittingly talk a little bit too long, so it probably should be around 30, 45 seconds. <laughs> but it's, there's four steps that we go through before we get to that place where you introduce yourself. So let's just do your introduction today. And for your introduction, I want you to say your name and then the transformation that you provide. And then let's do how you provide it. So this is just like an exercise that we're making up. So your name, the transformation you provide and how you provide that transformation. Okay. My name is Sharon Horn Elstrom. I go by Pajama Grandma, actually. And I help people kill their chronic pain and take back their life through a- Awesome. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So I think you need to get that Pajama Grandma in there, right? So say it, so start it with, if we've never met before, because sometimes what happens is we have people that we know really well, like I know Dale super well. I'm so glad that she's here. Fun, fun, focus. And then there's some people that I may not have uh, connected with before. So sometimes it feels weird when you're reintroducing yourself. So I love to say, you know, if we've never met before, my name is Molly Mahoney and so go from there. So my name is, and then say, I'm also known as the, like you can call me the pajama grandma, something like that. Yeah. Okay. And then go into the next little thing that you said. All right. If we've never met before, I am pajama grandma, Sharon Horn Elstrom, and I help you kill your chronic pain and take back your life. Awesome. 
So I actually liked it the way that you did it the first time where you did your name first. And then this is an awesome opportunity for getting engagement. So if you have a word, like we have the mall stars in our community. So if you are a mall star, give me a mall stars in the comments down below, whether you're watching this live or in the replay. Um, so you could say, and if we've never met before, I am, and then say your name and then say, you can call me the pajama grandma. So go ahead, give me a pajama grandma in the comments down below, right? To kind of mix it up a little bit. Let's try it. <laughs> Hi, oh, I forgot my name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon horn Elstrom, and if we've never met before, you can call me Pajama Grandma. You can put a Pajama Grandma in the comments below. I help you kill your chronic pain and take back your life. Okay, now there's not um in this really much at all. So I'm actually going to give you, if you guys are watching right now and you would like this extra super secret tip that is something we dive into in Camera Confidence that I was not planning on going into today, but I think it's actually another really big way to avoid the ums and to keep your audience super engaged. If you would like that, let's say, give it to me in the comments down below and I'm gonna give you this new tip. Yes, give it to us. You want it? Okay. Yeah. I know, then we have the delay and I have to wait to see if you really want it, which is like, I don't know. So it's, oh, Lisa, oh my gosh. Lisa Rothstein says, I say um all the time despite having been in Toastmasters. I'm going to say to Lisa also, so for those of you that don't know Lisa Rothstein, she is a brilliant copywriter. She also is a brilliant artist. So she goes to events and she'll draw out the entire art, uh, entire event with like all in one beautiful drawing. And she also wrote the lyrics for, wait till we get our hands on you, that underwear commercial. That was Lisa Rothstein. Which is super funny. She, the, Lisa, I think something that might happen because Lisa has experience as a performer and you're such a brilliant copywriter that your brain, and Lisa, I'm just like giving you an assessment, you know, I know you really well, but I think you may think in pre-scripted things. And so when you start to do stuff that's on the fly, like a Facebook Live, it's different than the way that you're used to. So this is actually really good. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Gerald. The bot went out. Hooray. Okay. So this is called beats and tactics. So for people who have any experience as a performer, as an actor, you may know, you may be familiar with this idea. So a beat is a small unit of action. And the, so like if you have a script, you'll do a script analysis before you actually perform the script and you'll divide it up into beats. Now, when does a beat change? The beat changes when the tactic changes. What? And the tactic is, the way that you get what you want. So when you introduce yourself, what's the objective of that? It's really to create that authority, to let them know who you are, to establish that you are this person who solves this certain problem, right? If you use the same vocal tactic that whole time, what's gonna happen? Do you have any ideas? Boredom, what? people will click away. Boredom, totally. <laughs> so they'll either be Bored, Mimi, yes, Mimi knows all about these beats. So, <laughs> Jerome, wait, can we just give him an, an awesome shout out? So, Cherie, I had only sent out a bot notification via Molly bot over on my other page. I did not send one out here. This is proof that we need to do this because we just brought 10 new amazing people in array today. So you guys comment below with the word show notes if you want the notes from all of this since we're kind of getting ready to wrap up here. Um, and this is Sharon and we're workshopping her introduction of herself. Okay, so if you don't use different tactics, you risk boring your audience. You risk the fact that they can miss everything you said. Because this last time that you said it, you said everything in the right order that we were talking about, but you said it so quickly and all strung together. And especially for somebody like me who speaks so quickly, then it's like disaster zone, right? People are gonna miss what I say. So uh, let's, Go back and I'm gonna give you different tactics for the different sections at your intro. So if, do you have kids? Grown kids, I'm old. Okay, you know. <laughs> so at some point, even this might even be better now that they're grown. When our kids want something from us, what do they do? Like what is something that your kids now would ask for? It's really funny when they're little. Like what's something that they would ask for that you would say no to? A paintball gun. 
Oh, oh good one. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so let's say one of your kids asks for a paintball gun and you say no. So what's probably going to happen at that point? They're going to keep asking until I go insane. And right, they're going to keep asking guns. until you cave. And right. while they're asking, they're going to change their tactics. Right? So they might try to bribe you. They might try to butter you up. They might try to compliment you. They might try to threaten you. They might try to um, uh, barter with you. There's all these different things that they're going to do. And so that's exactly the same thing that we use in our videos, the way that I teach performing in your videos. It's not about being somebody else. It's about making sure that you've warmed up. It's about making sure that you have these, as we discussed earlier, you know, you have the things that make you an awesome human and you have these catchphrases that you can pull out ready to go and that you are in a place where you can change these tactics and, and you can use these word association games that we talked about where you can keep going. So let's go back. Um, yes, and the bot wants um as the reply, Lisa, because <laughs> because we're talking about how to eliminate the word. Uh, uh. Okay, so go back to the beginning of, of your intro, the way that this is you introducing yourself, not the very first thing you're gonna say on your video. And I want you to talk about how, I want you to go through that whole thing and I'm gonna give you different tactics. The first one is that you're just saying your name and that's going to be to, Connect. So if you're really aiming to connect with someone, what's going to happen? I'm going to probably look in their eyes. I'm going to get closer to the camera. Things like the, that. The pitch might might be a little lower. You may be a little slower. And then when you go to the pajama grandma part, it's to play. Okay. So you, you know, when you play, your pitch might go up faster. You might you be a little more percussive. There's different things that are going to happen there. And, and you're gonna ask in the comment, that's all part of that next tactic. And then um, when you are giving your solution that you provide, the tactic could be to inspire. So just when you introduce yourself, you have three different vocal tactics. Does that make sense? Yes, it makes sense. It seems like Crazy. I have to practice. <laughs> totally. So let's try it. And I love seeing you guys here. So good to see you, hooray. This is Sharon and she's being super brave and jumping in for this live performance coaching, which is really fun. Okay, if you so want show notes from today, just comment below with show notes. Yeah, I'm okay, ready? So one part at a time. And then you're gonna give me another tactic or am I gonna do the whole thing with the different- You're gonna do the whole thing. So the intro is to connect. Okay. The pajama grandma is to play. And then when you say the solution that you provide, that is to inspire. All right, we'll try. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sharon Horn Elstrom. I am also known as the Pajama Grandma. And if you want, please comment below Pajama Grandma. And I'm here to help you kill your chronic pain and take back your life. Okay, now that was a little bit better. And now we're gonna put in pauses. Okay. I talk really so, fast. I do it on I my mean, videos too. Too. So by changing up and inside, I'm like giving all this goodness today. Inside Camera Confidence, we have these five Ps of the prepared performer that we go over. And so I'm kind of throwing some of those at you right now. But we're gonna put those in there so that you really, we wanna notice a visceral difference between the tactics. So you may know when I'm doing videos, sometimes I'll be like, okay, we are going to talk about, like I'll slow way down, get really percussive, right? And then sometimes I'll get really fast and my pitch will be up high. So we wanna see a, a super big difference between all of those. And yes, I wanna say, um, what did, where did it go? Lauren said that you were, oh yeah, she said she's really proud of you because you're in the hot seat, which I love. No kidding. So good. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually gonna do something that I do with my clients a lot. I'm gonna clap in between your tactics so that we all feel the visceral change. And I want you to make the, the way that you're speaking totally different on each of these. Okay, here we go. Let me slow down too. Yeah. Okay. My name is Sharon Horn Elstrom. And you can call me the Pajama Grandma. <laughs> Comment Pajama Grandma below if you're new here today. And I'm going to help you kill your chronic pain and take back your life. <laughs> no. Awesome. So I'm going to give you a little example of it. Also, you're doing so good. So I'm just going to give you a quick example. So ready? Um, so if we're here. So say your last name for me again, Horn Elstrom. Is that right? Elstrom. It's one of those horrible hyphenated names. Yeah, no, that's good. Okay. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it just to show you another example of how it can be a little more drastic. So, uh, and it gets goofy for me also. So, 
If we've yet to meet, my name is Sharon Horan Elstrom. I am also known as the Pajama Grandma. So you can give me a Pajama Grandma in the comments down below. And really, I am here to help you take back your life. To, to what was it? To eliminate? What was the word that you said? To kill chronic pain and take yeah. back. To kill chronic pain and take back your life. So the first one, if you can make it really like you're here to connect and then it's like goofy, playful, fun, percussive, the pitch can change a lot. And then really bring it down and tap into the fact that if they're experiencing chronic pain and you're gonna inspire them to feel better, you wanna really empathize with them and tap into that pain of the chronic, the chronic pain that they're in. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Let's, okay, let's try it again. You're gonna make me do it again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, if we have yet to meet, I'm Sharon Horn Elstrom. I am also known as the Pajama Grandma. You can go ahead and comment in the comments below if we haven't met yet, Pajama Grandma, and we'll talk soon. I'm here to help you kill your chronic pain and really take back your life. Okay, I noticed a big shift in that end part. Did you feel that? Yep, I was trying. <laughs> yeah, and so and I think that also, so we get so used to talking about the things that we're solving, like the chronic pain is something that you you say chronic pain all of the time. And so by really, and you know, this is actually a good point that goes back to our catchphrases, right? Those become things that we're so used to saying. And so if we can put ourselves in the, really empathize with our audience and connect with them and really tap into where they're at when we're saying these chronic, these, these um, catchphrases, then it doesn't become something that it's just this thing that we say all the time. It becomes something where we're still really genuinely connecting every single time. Awesome. That makes sense? Totally makes sense. I love it's it. Totally cool. practice, me and the bear. Yay. <laughs> Wait, I want to see your bear in its full glory. Show us your bear. <laughs> I had this when I had a sudden cardiac arrest. My sister gave it to me. He's a little beat up now. Oh, my He's gosh. Nice how him. sweet. He's losing to your grandma. <laughs> so awesome okay Sharon I'm so grateful thank you so much for coming on with us thank you so and, uh, much yeah so where can we find you online I am uh, where am I pajama grandma I'm all over Facebook I do I do actually several lives a day they're very scary which is why I hopped on here so I would stop saying so you see and that's so good so do you feel like these tips are going to help you today absolutely I'm going to make my lists I love it. And really look at you guys, all of you play that game, play the word association game. It's a fun way to kill time, you know, and it's also a way to really keep our brains thinking ahead. And then you can say it where like each person has to add three words on, or each person has to add two words on and see how far you can grow, can go without messing it up. Um, if you guys want to connect with Sharon and she can help you with your, any chronic pain that you have, give us a pajama grandma in the comments here. And then Sharon, Come back and connect with everyone who comments below with Pajama Grandma. I love I it. Absolutely well. Thanks, everybody. You're welcome. Thank you okay. Now. Yes. Okay, I'm going to send you down. Bye. <laughs> so cool. I love that Be Live allows us to do this. Okay. I'm going to go <laughs> through our little agenda really quickly today. We went a little bit over. And remember that if you want the show notes, they are already started. I'm going to be fleshing them out a little bit. They are ready for you. Just comment below with the word show notes. We'll send you a message. Reply to that message with the word, um, <laughs> and then we'll send you the actual link. And also a reminder today, this has been broadcast both on, ah, there's a vacuum in the hallway, both on Facebook live at be live TV and on Facebook live at the prepared performer, my personal page, Molly Mahoney, which is pretty fun that we tried this. I don't know if we're going to do it this way. Again, because it's kind of funky, I think, how it splits the comments, but it's a good tool and, and fun to know that it's possible. Okay. And if this was valuable for you, not only will this help you with your videos, it'll help your the videos that you're watching also, because we all know the ums drive us bonkers. So here's our little quick, quick, speedy recap. Number one, realize, tap into who you are as a human being. Get in touch with your quesadilla of awesome. This is a list of 20 things that make you a uniquely awesome human being. Number two, do a dang vocal warm up. When you go to the show notes, you'll see a link to a vocal warm up. It's a seven minute audio download that I created. It's part of my camera confidence course. I pulled it out and made it available for you so that you can warm up with me every single morning. This came as a request from one of my students. So I recorded it so that they could have it and listen to it all the time. If you're in camera confidence, you have access to this warm up inside the foundational training videos. So don't go get it there. But if, um, I mean, 
So don't go to the show notes to get it. You have it in camera confidence. If you aren't, you can get this piece. Awesome. Number three, create catchphrases. So, uh, you know, there are all kinds of crazy kooky things that I say on a regular basis. And by having those catchphrases that I can pull out of the sky, give me a nugget if that's a nugget for you. It not only makes it easier for you to keep speaking, it helps you to eliminate the ums and it creates more brand recognition. So it really allows you to connect your audience and allows them to be a part of the whole tribe, right? Are you here to elevate your awesome? You are, I hope. <laughs> we love elevating the awesome of our community members. And that's a phrase that I use all the time. I actually worked with a branding specialist to come up with that phrase. Thank you, Julianne Stidick, because she helped me come up with that phrase. And it's something now that I have throughout all of my marketing and I say often on my videos. Okay, remember, comment show notes, you'll get access to all of this. The next one was a game called Elephant Fitzgerald. Go back and watch this video to learn how to play it. It's a word association game. It's super fun. I'll be writing more about it in the show notes. It's a game that I invented with my husband backstage at the Fireside Dinner Theater. What? So cool. Okay, and the last tip is this long tail word association. So it's a great road trip activity. It's great to play with your team members. It's great to play just for fun. Uh, you, what you do is you go back and forth with a word. So you start, it's like building a long sentence by associating words that come next in the sentence. There's no judgment. You're just furthering along the conversation and you can set it up so that you use just one word back and forth, word, 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 or two words, two words, two words, two words, or three words, three words, three words, three words. And then you keep repeating the whole entire sentence. So by the end of it, you have this really long sentence that you're saying. Oh my gosh. Yes, so good. Okay, and ta-da, I'm come, coming back and seeing some of your comments. Thank you, Lauren, so good to see you here. Um, ta-da. Okay, if you have more questions, go ahead and post them down below. If you want support to build your own bot, you guys saw in the middle of this that we sent out a bot broadcast, which was pretty fun to do on the fly live. Thank you, Jerome, for reminding me. And we are here pretty much every Wednesday at Be Live TV, helping you to up level your Facebook Live skills. We're helping you to unlock your inner awesome, elevate them with the magic of Facebook Live. If you wanna take it even a step further, don't forget we have a live video masterclass coming up. When you comment below with the word show notes, you'll also get access to that masterclass. These masterclasses are only available for 24 hours. So when you sign up, make sure you put it in your calendar to watch it within that 24 hour span. And if you found this valuable, I would so appreciate a review over on my business page, Molly Mahoney, The Prepared Performer. When I get the reviews from you, it helps me to know that the content that we're putting out is powerful, that you're really benefiting from it because there is nothing more important to me in all of this. If Facebook disappeared tomorrow, the most important thing to me is knowing that some piece of this helped you to have more confidence, to be more connected to who you really are as a human being so that you can stand for who you are. You can go out and make more human connections, really stand for joy. And I believe with all the craziness that we have in this world, that this is a huge way that we can make a difference. It's awesome to see you here. I so appreciate you as a part of our community and I'll see you next week. If not before.